for years we've been trying to take the data that we have on fatalities and determine what is the you know, root cause of someone in, on a motorcycle losing their life. And a lot of times it is the fact that the motorist that uh, they collide with echoes this word, I didn't see them. So using that as the, uh, the model of what we want to try to do to solve some of this problem, or at least minimize it, is make it so the motorcycle is actually seen. So this modulating headlight issue came up. It's, a, a, it's approved already federally, but the state of Delaware had never had anything in the code to, to authorize the use of a pulsating or modulating headlight. We thought we'd use a pilot program and, and allow motorcyclists to actually purchase a device that would cause their headlight to, to just pulsate and uh, make them more visible and see if that doesn't solve the problem or at least help. Uh, in a lot of cases solve the problem. It actually was an idea that uh, Senator Ennis, who is retiring from the legislature at the end of this year, uh, brought forth. Uh, we all looked into it and then the, uh, the group actually endorsed the, uh, the legislation and it moved very quickly through the General Assembly. Uh, all our colleagues thought it would be a good idea to put this pilot program in place and allow motorcyclists in the state to, to buy these devices and uh, change the, the look of the front of their motorcycle coming down the road. I've actually called the shop. Uh, they have ordered one. Uh, I don't know that I'll be the first, but I'm going to be close to being the first person to actually have this on a motorcycle in, in the state of Delaware. I actually have changed the lights on the front of my bike from normal lights uh, to LED lights which made a big difference, but I think this will be uh, even a better enhancement to make me more visible as I'm coming down the road.